where the pipeline is, is right in back of my father's house. On top of that hill, my husband is buried, my son is buried, my cousins, my father. And so when, when we went through all the reviews and nobody was listening to us, all I could think of was, how dare they? LaDonna Brave Bull Allard owns the closest property to the Dakota Pipeline, where she opened her family's home to more than 100,000 protesters over the course of the No Dapple protests. She's ecstatic that all the fighting paid off. It's um, shocking, a little bit unreal, and yet my mind is going 90 miles a minute about what I'm going to plant down there. <laughs> I want to put the tree lines back in. Three years after it began pumping North Dakota crude oil to Illinois, the Dakota Access Pipeline has been ordered to shut down. The judge has been looking at both sides of the Dakota Access Pipeline and of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe and Cheyenne Rivers uh, technical experts trying to weigh out what's more cost effective, what's more um, environmental effective, and what is actual uh, this pipeline going to do. In a 24-page order, federal judge James Bosberg wrote he was mindful of the disruption such a shutdown would cause, but that it must be done by August 5th. The 30-day shutdown recommendation came from the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe technical consultants. That recommendation was by the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe. We recommended 30 days shutdown. We didn't recommend overnight. We didn't recommend it's 48 hours because to ramp down uh, a half a million barrels a day, to ramp, that, to ramp it down takes days to do. The Standing Rock Sioux Tribe has argued since 2016 that the pipeline poses an environmental risk to tribal land and the ruling found that vital safety and requirements were ignored. One of our key pieces with the, the whole legal battle was a report that was done through our, our tribal game and fish program. They had to, talking about the natural resources and the sensitivity of the area where the pipeline crosses and how that there's a lot of biota that, li that reside there and they're very crucial and, and very keystone pieces of the, the food chain. Tribal members also say it's not only themselves they're fighting for. I can be very fierce because I have two great grandbabies. They have a right to live. I have 18 grandsons. They have a right to live. And they have a right to live in our own home. Standing Rock tribal members say they know the fight is not over as they expect to receive an appeal from both the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and the Dakota Access Pipeline Company. Reporting for KX News in Standing Rock, I'm Nakaya Carrero. Energy Transfer of the Pipeline's owner says it believes that Judge Bosberg exceeded his authority in ordering the shutdown of the pipeline, which in their opinion has been safely operating for more than three years. The company went on to say they feel confident that ultimately the decision will be reversed.